morning from Chicago. I'm grabbing my lunch so I can head to the airport. I got like one minute to leave the house. I bought some peaches, a salad, and some Lunchables. Just a couple of snacks so that I won't be hungry when I'm on the plane. But I have an overnight tonight in Tucson and tomorrow San Diego. I'm excited because tomorrow I'm going to be able to see my best friend in Tucson. We're going to have lunch and countdown to Thailand begins. So I'm going to hurry up and pack up so I can head to the airport and I'll see you guys there. The vlog. I want to be on the vlog. <laughs> Gigi, you want to be on the vlog? Say hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm on my way to the airport. Per usual, I have my entire family with me. I am kind of tired. You see, I got on just the lipstick and a little mascara, no foundation because it is hot in Chicago. So I'm touching on my red lipstick before I head upstairs for work. And those of you that always ask about the red lipstick that I wear, it is NYX. Some say NYX, I call it NYX. NYX, um, Blood love. Ooh. It's my go-to red. It's matte. I love it. And then I outline it so that I don't get like the bleeding red lipstick. I outline it with the lip liner in the color plush red. So <laughs> but I'm gonna head upstairs and go to the gate because your girl has a five hour flight all the way to Oakland, California. And then we go from Oakland to somewhere and then somewhere and we head to Tucson and I'm excited because I have 22 hours in Tucson and like I told you guys my um my best friend well my old best friend lives in Tucson so I'm gonna have lunch with him and I'm very excited to see him but you guys I'm gonna head upstairs and I'll see you somewhere I'll see you somewhere we have just made it to Tucson Arizona and it is nice and hot for it to be late at night and that's 100 percent expected because we are in arizona but we're gonna load up and head to the hotel and i'll see you guys when i get there i plan on enjoying this 22 hour overnight 22 hours in good old tucson but the crazy thing is we had a five hour flight we went from chicago to oakland it was about 450 but the crazy thing is that flight went by so fast and then we had two one hour flights. We went from Oakland to LA and in LA here to Tucson. But like, honey, when I tell y'all I'm tired. Y'all can tell I had a long day because when I tell y'all, I'm just so over it and I'm about to jump in the bed with this on. Look at my hair. My hair is even like, <laughs> girlfriend. And then the crew's talking about, yeah, let's go. come on, come downstairs so we can get something to eat. And I'm like, uh-uh. Like today out of all the days, I'm just like, I'm tired. Like I'm stressed out trying to find somebody to do my hair for Thailand. I'm stressed out trying to make sure I have my coat, my clothes in order. I just have a lot to do. And like being away from home for these three days, like it sucks because I could have really used these three days at home trying to prepare for the trip. But when I get home, I have two days off. And those two days, like I'm gonna spend like ripping and running trying to make sure I can get everything done. Like, it's just, it's stressful. Because, you know, you just want to make sure you have everything together before you go out of the country. Like, what? I feel like the last two vlogs that I've posted, haven't, I haven't really been doing anything. Because I've been, like, just so focused on Thailand. Like, all of my August vlogs have been just, like, so blah. Because, like, I've been exhausted. Because, like, it's exhausting planning a vacation when I tell you guys. So, I do apologize for the past vlogs that I have posted because they have not been that entertaining. But again, this is the life of a flight attendant. Every day is not fascinating, okay? But when I um, go to, when I get back from Thailand, those vlogs will be busting. I think I'm gonna do like a part three. Like a three part, yeah. Part three, see, I'm tired. I'm gonna do a three part video for Thailand because I know I'm gonna have a lot of material when I come back from Thailand. All right, I slept off my attitude and I'm feeling pretty good this morning. <clears throat> hello, hello. My best friend is outside. He came to pick me up, take me to lunch. Cause your girl is hungry. She needs something to eat. I don't know where we're going, but it's definitely 108. <laughs> it's definitely 108 p.m. And I don't have to report until like six o'clock. I'm walking to get to the front entrance. 
I should have told him to tell me when he was five minutes away so that I could have been down here. But I have on this cute top and I got on jeans. Don't know why I didn't pack shorts, whatever. Don't really care. It's not, um, it's hot, but it's not humid. So like I can deal with it. It would have been nice to come out here to the pool. What up? Hey. Up, hey Alex, you wanna say hi to the, my vlogger? I mean to my um subscribers. This is my best friend Alex, been known him for some years now. We kinda fell off, but it's okay. I'm in Tucson, so we're gonna turn up for a little bit. take on the plane with me. I'm gonna go upstairs and change into my uniform because it's almost time for me to be downstairs. It's kind of weird to go to work this late. Like normally as soon as I wake up, like, you know, it's time for me to get dressed and go to work. But I was able to wake up, get dressed, and go out for lunch, come back, and be able to like chill for a little bit and then go to work. So it's gonna be a long night. I have three flights today, but they're each like an hour long. But because it's so late in the day, I want to make sure that my key works. Because they might have locked me out. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you guys my view. Guys, look at this. Isn't this simply beautiful? Now this is a view that I can actually do. And then look, I got the little balcony area that I did not take advantage of. You guys, I've had the longest, shortest day ever. It's so weird because our trip as a whole wasn't long, but the day was long because we had such a long overnight in Tucson to where like going to work, it was kind of like, oh my God, like after I came back from lunch, it was, it just seemed like it was time for me to go to sleep, but no, I had to get up and go to work. It is now 3 a.m. Central time, but it's midnight. Um, oh, not midnight, it's 1 a.m. Pacific time. Very spacious, I have one bed, it's fine, not a big deal. But I love this little couch area. Too bad I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it because I have a short overnight here in San Diego. But as of now, I can just let you guys know that I had a pretty smooth day. No problems. No problems, no emergencies, no anything, no delays. Like everything was smooth. One hour flights, the last flight was like 45 minutes. Good morning from San Diego, guys. I just have to take the time to show you this beautiful, absolutely beautiful view here in San Diego. Got like two minutes to be downstairs, but I think this is more important. <laughs> Look at this. Gorgeous. It's about 75 degrees out here. It feels absolutely amazing. But on that note, I am going to pack up my stuff and head downstairs and I'll see you guys at the airport. We made it to the airport, only to find out that we are four hours delayed to Orlando. So I'm sitting with my crew and we, well I'm eating Jack in the Box, but I cannot believe it. Cause like, as you guys know, I only have two days to prepare for Thailand. Well, four hours delayed to Orlando and we believe that our Chicago flight is gonna leave without us because we get in so late. 
so we might be stranded in Orlando. I don't know what's going on, but I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so I have an update for you guys. We are now just deadheading straight to Chicago from San Diego. We were originally gonna go San Diego to Orlando and then Orlando to Chicago, but we were four hours delayed and with Orlando already being a base, there was no need for them to um, like delay that flight anymore because they could just pull reserves. So as of now, we're gonna deadhead straight to Chicago and it looks like I'll be home tonight, so no cancellations for us. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna edit some video because we got four hours until we have to be at the gate. Okay, so I prayed about my day getting better and it actually did get better. They ended up changing us, so now we're gonna just deadhead from San Diego to Chicago. And I'm really, really happy about that because I was worried about not being able to get home. I was just worried and stressed about a lot, but I was just like, you know what, let me just relax and pray and ask God to help me, and he did. So we're dead heading home, and I also found someone to do my hair tomorrow morning. So, I am so ecstatic about that. We're boarded up now. Granted, we did wait six hours at the airport, but it's fine because we're finally getting home to Chicago. I did not want to not get to Chicago, so we're going we're gonna to get to Chicago. And I'm just so happy we're going to make it. to Chicago just one leg today one dead hit straight home because of all of the cancellations and delays we were just able to come straight home from San Diego the flight was like four hours I KO the entire time ate my sandwich listened to some music and by that time I was here home so I have a lot of planning to do before Thailand Again, it's 12.30. I'm going to take a nap, wake up early. I'm going to shampoo and blow dry my hair. And then I am going to get my hair done early tomorrow morning. I have to pack. I have to get my nails and my toes done, eyebrows waxed. It's a lot to do with such little time. But I'm thankful to have made it to Chicago after thinking that I wasn't going to make it. And that I was going to be a day behind in getting prepared for the big trip. But again, thank you all for taking the time to watch my vlog. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. And I think my next vlog, yeah, my next vlog will definitely be Thailand. So yeah, definitely um, follow me on Instagram at ashleysmith.tv. And again, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye! Don't know what kind of animals are out here, but I'm hoping to God nothing pops out. Why is there a cage? Oh my God, was that a snake?